So in today's video, I am going to show you a mistake that almost every single business owner who is DIYing their books come to us with. This is a mistake almost all of them are making in their QuickBooks file. So I want to show you guys not only what this mistake is, but how you can avoid making it to make your books cleaner so you can make more money in your business. But if you're new here, thanks so much for checking us out. My name is Katrina. My business partner, Cheryl, and I run and own Empower to Profit, where we teach business owners just like you how to take the most profit out of their business. Because if you're not making a paycheck, why are you even doing this business? So let's go ahead. We're going to hop into QuickBooks, walk through how to do transfers in QuickBooks so you can keep your records clean. Okay, so this is what your banking feed is going to look like when you get into your QuickBooks file. And the first thing you're going to do is you can see here, um, this is my banking feed. So we can see that we paid our American Express card, the 6800. And then if you come over to the credit card feed, you'll see that you'll the payment went out right here. So what you need to do is instead of categorizing these like you would a normal transaction, you're actually going to record them as a credit card payment or match. And sometimes QuickBooks will be helpful and see that there is a matching transaction already in the feeds. Sometimes it will try and be helpful and prompt you to record it as something crazy like an owner's draw or something completely unrelated. So you do want to make sure um, you just don't want to go through auto adding everything because although QuickBooks uses AI and tries to be helpful, it's not always accurate. So this 6800, we're going to pop that open and you can see it's already pre-filled to record it as a credit card payment. I'm going to verify that these things are correct. 514, it's matching from a 513 payment. So that looks good. And I'm going to add it here. And then when you pop over, it should already be added um, and you'll be able to see that in the categorize tab here. So you'll be able to see that payment here. So everything's recorded in the register and that's all you have to do. You don't want to categorize it as something different. You don't want to be adding new things up in here by creating uh, payments and transfers and all these extra things. It's just as easy as making sure that your transactions match as a credit card payment. So as you can see here, if you want to double check, and I do this frequently for the clients that we serve, um, you can you want to make sure there's two online banking matches. So one is from the credit card and then the other one is coming from the bank account to show that it's making the payment. If you only see one online banking match here, that means that something went wrong and you're not actually matching the two payments. You're only capturing one of those. So it's probably going to be duplicated somewhere. And that's it. That's one really easy thing that you can do in your QuickBooks file to make sure everything is clean, accurate, up to date, not duplicated, but everything's in the right order. So it's feeding to your reports, which will give you the information you need to put more money in your personal pocket. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. Or if you want more like tips and tricks like this, I would highly recommend you checking out our toolbox. We have all kinds of cool training and information for under 25 bucks. So let me know, comment profit. If you want the link, we'll be more than happy to send it your way. But as always, cheers to profit.